Have you ever seen Veep? We're living it. You're living it. Yeah. Yes, you are. Kamala's hubby, Dougie Fresh, saying out loud what the entire country knows by now. The Biden White House is just one big season of Veep. And we all can't wait for the series finale. In case you haven't seen it, Veep's a comedy about an incompetent and vindictive female VP as she claws her way to the top. Sound familiar? You know what I would like to tell people, but obviously I can't. No, say it here. I should be president yep. because it is my God. Turn. Are you ready to step into the role and do whatever the I country would need? absolutely ready. But thank God our president is in good shape and good health. <laughs> because words have many meanings and what we mean to say when we speak those words can mean so many different things, we can confuse our own meaning and misspeak. The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. And for today's episode of Veep, Joe Biden kicking commander out of the White House, forcing the presidential pooch to live with some relatives after Cujo turned the White House staff into an all-you-can-eat buffet. Documents show Commander Biden bid and attacked Secret Service members at least 24 times. And that's just Secret Service. One incident, forcing a White House tour to stop as janitors mopped up blood from the floor. Commander also terrorizing Biden's beach house, where one unlucky soul got six stitches after suffering a severe, deep, open wound. Commander's rage was a real treat for the media. Listen to his name, Commander. That's He's in right. charge. He's I'm a, a bite your ass. They weren't just all little nicks either. Yeah, I've been in a similar situation. It's rough. It's. I don't mean that as. No, no, I didn't mean that as a stupid pun. Like it's. It's difficult. But absolutely, the dog has to go. I'm pretty sure Dr. Jill Biden would fit right in with the cast of Veep. The first lady, who can't pronounce bodega, compares Latinos to breakfast tacos and once stood in front of a huge sign that said Hunter High. Well, she's apparently the secret sauce that keeps her husband's mojo running. Listen to this top historian. She is the vital part. Dr. Jill Biden is it. She likes power. She wants to stay. She wants some sense of revenge. A lot to bite into, Greg, here. Mm -hmm. I, I love that Doug says it's just like Veep. I mean, does he know that in Veep, the VP is an idiot? At least he didn't say his marriage is like The Walking Dead. You know, he picked, he could have done worse, but that's really, he obviously doesn't watch the show. I think about the dog, we need to call it what it is. It's an incisor erection. <laughs> It's the work of extreme MAGA Republican dog trainers. Yes. Exactly. Is the dog a German Shepherd? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? By the way, it's not just one dog. The dog before Commander was major, and it also had to be shipped out three years ago. So it's not the dog. It's the owner. Joe takes care of pets the way he takes care of unwanted grandkids. If you ask me, they put the wrong dog out to pasture. Speaking of, he claims they sent the poor dog to a friend, perhaps out in the country upstate, where he can play. What does that sound like to you? They Epstein the dog. <laughs> How soon do we discover that the poor dog is found in a kennel with a bed sheet wrapped around his <laughs> scruffy neck? And how convenient for that. You might think it's a challenge to indict an entire administration based on this dog story. I accept that challenge. Yeah. If a president can't control his dogs that, a, that attack brave Americans, how can he govern a country that's being invaded on both borders? As we know, the president has a very high threshold for other people's pain. Mm. He laughs it off. He blames others. He's okay with rampant violent crime. He's okay with merciless Venezuelan gangs. And now he's okay with attacks on the Secret Service. Mm. It's this cruel ambivalence. Jesse, that I can't stand. I know you can't, Greg. How's that? As someone who <laughs> suffered a severe dog bite, mm. I can't imagine what it's like to have blood dripping off of your limb onto the White House floor, Dana. I'm sorry, I was just so distracted. Your hair is really hot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. I, I told mean, you that before the show. Who let's say that. that is All right. amazing. I have <laughs> great hair. Jesse, okay? you do have Turn great around. hair, but like, do oh you need a haircut? Oh my gosh, it's all is? the way across. Yeah. It's like bangs and you just flip them up. <laughs> now, back to the story. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is incredible. Thank you. I, first of all, on the Veep front, it reminds me of when Doug and Kamala kissed with their N95 masks on. Remember that one? <laughs> yes. That was a, that would have definitely happened in Veep. Um, first of all, if any of our dogs bit somebody, mm -hmm. they're out. Yep. Maybe you get a warning, but the second time, they take your dog. Yeah. Okay? So... 
one, either nobody told the president this was happening, that would be a problem, or two, he knew about it and didn't care. And one of the things every president should want to do is protect the Secret Service at all times, make sure that they're comfortable, everything, anything you need, make sure you don't leave them hanging on Christmas Day, let them spend Christmas morning with their family before you go on vacation, whatever it might be. But I wonder if the White House either keeps the truth from him and doesn't tell him things like, sir, the border is not closed. Mm. And sir, inflation is actually a problem. And you know what? People are really concerned about crime. And if you think about it that way, like maybe he doesn't want to get bad news. Maybe his temper comes back at you if you give him bad news or he knows all of it and doesn't do anything about it, making a real dog's breakfast of the policy. Ooh. Ooh. Harold, is this an impeachable offense? <laughs> it's good to see you back. Thank and you. That hair is fantastic. Thank uh, you, Harold. A uh, <laughs> couple things. Um, dogs are, this dog is a protective dog. And we, we should all have a commander in our lives uh, that would protect us like this. And uh, I just, I mean, I, I can't, I can't, Aww. we all love dogs and I can't attack dogs. And, I, and, and he's protecting the, the he, and, I've never heard him say that he bit Joe Biden. So they clearly need some more training and they've got to figure out how to, how to make this right. But I'm not going to, none of us would attack a dog and I'm not accusing anybody, but I'm not going to attack this journal. It's not the show. dog's fault. Well, and I'm not going to attack the president. I mean, my dog is, has bitten me before. And well, we your dog is a little, past. what is your dog? Well, I have a Jack Russell. You know, are you, are you now discriminating against little yes, dogs? Yes, yes. <laughs> your so dog's kind of a thing. little dog. So we all need a commander. Two, um, um, the vice president, I hope we have vice presidents of, at all times who are confident in their abilities. She is. I hope we have vice presidents at all times who are substantive. I think people are looking. I think Vice President Harris is substantive. I think she needs to have more of it come out because it is, I think there's a, a lacking on the part of a lot of Americans, even some Democrats, uh, who don't understand how substantive, what her leadership qualities are. And she's got to do that over the next, the next several months if the ticket is going to have a chance to win. I think she's integral and indispensable to the ticket winning. Uh, finally, um, I, I think the president... Um, is getting some criticism today that in the last few days it's unfair about his position about the border and other things. I would agree with those who say, look, he should have exercised some of this authority earlier. But I'm just a believer. When somebody comes around to my side, I welcome them. And even if they come around to my side, a longer, it takes them a longer period of time. I've, I'd say this again, and I've said it several times. If we and when we have a Republican as president and she decides that she's going to, to sign a a gun reform law, set of laws that restrict those who can own guns because we want people who follow the law and who don't break the law to do it. I would, and if Democrats said, well, we're not going to let her have that credit because Republicans have been opposed to this, I would criticize those Democrats as, crit as critically and as repeatedly as I've criticized Republicans who don't want to accept a win that will help the country and make the country safer and hopefully make our borders safer uh, in the process. Judge Jeanine, you're a dog owner. Your thoughts on Commander? Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is the uh, vice president's husband. What is he, the second male? What is he? Second, second gentleman. gentleman. Second gentleman. Okay, he can't possibly grasp the meaning, the meaning of the analogy between his wife and Veep. Because if he saw that show, he would never say we live it because she's an incompetent idiot who doesn't stop laughing. Now, maybe he thinks that there's a, you know, an analogy to be made. And one thing I disagree with, Harold, uh, although I love you, is he said you, you, you said we don't understand her leadership qualities. That's a quote. It's I, up to her to make me believe in her leadership and I qualities. Said she's been lacking. I and agree it's, and it's, it, it's not my fault. It's her fault. Okay, which is the same scenario with Joe Biden. Joe Biden blames the victims. He actually blamed one agent who said, he, uh, Joe Biden said he lied about Major attacking him. Mm. Now, when a dog attacks 24 people, or two dogs attack 24 people, the dog is living in a dysfunctional environment, okay? There's something wrong. He's either getting involved in Hunter's cocaine, the dime bag, something's going on, <laughs> or, you know, there is, there is just, it's just not a happy place. And, you know, it's, it's just a reflection of the environment that he's in. And, you know, the it's not just Secret Service. So if you want to blame the Secret Service, it's the executive staff, it's the White House workers closing off the East Wing for 20 minutes from a tour because there's so much blood on the floor. I mean, you know, I've had... I've had Doberman Pinchers. I've had Bouvier de Flander, who were very mm -hmm. serious guard dogs. I've had serious guard dogs. I've had them trained to be guard dogs. Never had a problem. Never. 
never had a problem with these dogs. But if I did, you can rest assured, they would have they would have sanctioned me and I would have had to euthanize the dog. So the bottom line is that, you know, they don't, there's something going on in that family that's not right. They can't even train a dog and they, you know, we're supposed to have them run the country. And as it relates to Jill, Jill liking power and what, craving revenge, I mean, think about it. The woman was a teacher at a community college, and now she's basically, you know, at the right hand of running the United States because Joe can't do it, and so she is. Plus, she gets the Oscars and the Dolce's and all that other stuff, so she ain't giving that up. Uh, the Oscars and the Dolce's are dresses for those men out there who have no idea what Janine just said. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.